Good afternoon. I um, wanted to quickly go over the using the, the big out roster that we uh, that we have here. Um, it's a very simple, very easy to use machine. Now, uh, one of the things I want to show you is the rotisserie basket set. It's a very popular uh, piece of equipment and uh, it works well. So I'll take the lids off here. And open the rotisserie basket set over. Adam and Dimitri are going to bring it over for us. Here we go. Now you're going to pop it up on the top in the carving position. Um, normally you would just put it down inside the roaster and load it this that way. But we're going to load them um, on the top here just to let you see how, how, they, how they fit. Yeah, so so this is one of the uh, attachments or accessories that are um, most often purchased with this unit. It's one of the most versatile ones. Uh, so as you can see, it's a uh, basket set of four stainless steel baskets. And with them, you can uh, you can roast upwards to 40 chickens at a time if they're around the, the weight of two to two and a half pounds. Uh, for show today, the chickens that we're putting on are around three and a half pounds. So you might not be able to get up to the 40, but you can still fit quite a few. Um, and what you'd be looking at is roughly cooking uh, your batch of chickens every 90 minutes. And at that point, you can take them out, swap them in and put another batch on. That said, though, a lot of times we, we have a lot of uh, current owners that will use it for racks of ribs. Uh, you could fit four suckling pigs at a time. Uh, our catering company, uh, sometimes what they'll like to do is do two baskets with the proteins and two baskets with your vegetables. And that way the vegetables will cook uh, or will actually base as the cook is going. And you can get a full meal done at once right in front of your, uh, your customers as well. Now, something to mention is that we typically would actually load these within the unit, but right now we're just loading it up top here. So it's a little bit easier for you guys to see how this actually works. Um, that being said, this unit isn't just a spit rotisserie. Uh, as you can see on the banner up top here, you can actually do a lot of other cooking styles and methods with it. For instance, you can roast, you can uh, rotisserie, of course, you can smoke foods with it. Uh, you can steam, you can also use it uh, as a hot, hot table or a shaking table. And the nice thing about it is it's an incredibly mobile unit. Uh, unit. It's got 10 inch pneumatic tires and a wagon axle. So you, you can wheel this bad boy wherever your members are gonna be, whether it's gonna be on the patio, out on the ninth hole, or even right on, uh, right on the docks if you're at a yacht club. Um, yeah, you can see Alan's kind of pushing it around here for <laughs> us. Bit of a rock here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna drop it down inside so you see what it actually looked like when you are cooking it. Yeah, so it sits inside and it actually uh, will rotate on the exact same spit pole. On the exact same spit pole that you would do uh, for your whole hog rotisserie that you can see in the back here. Um, so it's the exact same spit pole. You basically just have two clamps that would attach directly to it and then your baskets hang off that. Um, now, something that we think would be uh, really nice for you guys to see is uh, how you'd actually do a whole hog uh, rotisserie like in the back here. So we actually have an 80 pound pig that we've been cooking today. We're cooking for about roughly four hours, uh, but it's actually ready to be moved up in the, the carving and serving position now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the camera around here. And mind you, we're, we're not in the cinematogra cinematography business here. We're, we're in the roaster business, so don't mind that, but I'm gonna flip the camera around. We're gonna look at our other roaster in the kitchen here. All right. So we see Dimitri and Alan in the back here. So when you guys would be going to do a whole hog, uh, what you would do is you would take the doors off, as you can see there. Um, they're not on, uh, on a hinge. They actually hang off the door, which makes it a little bit easier to take a pig out and put it back in. Once your pig is done cooking, you move it up into the carving position, as you see right now. There is a carving tray that's located underneath that slides right in beneath the pig. Another really nice feature about this roaster is that the universal size of the typical size of a shaping pan or, or hotel pan will actually fit inside the, the body of the, the unit as well. So you don't have to go get a custom one from us. The, one, the ones that you guys have on location will work. So what you're able to do now is that you can actually carve and serve directly in front of your members to create a really nice show factor and something that they're always going to remember and uh, love about you know, your service capabilities. So what we're going to see here is just a, a moment of uh, Dimitri carving a pig and giving a little show. Perfect. 
Perfect. So what Dimitri did here is typically the way you would start is to actually you cut the crackling down. Nice thing is that it's really nice and tough. Hopefully you can hear that camera a little far away. But you get some really nice crackling out of here. There you go. Yeah, perfect. Serve right from the roadster itself. Your members would actually line up if you want to have the, the service feature right in front of them. Or you can have this off to the back of your patio as kind of a show as they're sitting at their, at their dining table. And uh, your, your servers and waitresses could come up, receive their, their food, and then bring it to them. Now, again, this isn't just for roasting whole hog rotisserie, even though you know it's in our name, pig out. Uh, you know, it's certainly one of the bread and butter features of this unit. Um, but you can also roast lamb, uh, uh, lamb, goats. We've got guys down in Florida that like to throw gators on it every once in a while. So you really get uh, quite creative with it. Um, always a nice feature about that. Basically, as long as you can get it on the pole and within the body and that it's not over 160 pounds, you can cook it in our, in our propane roaster and our cooking center. The other thing that we cooked on it successfully is um, what you call a ponderosa, which is the uh, hip of beef either on the bone or uh, boned out. And that comes out really well. You get nice, crunchy, crispy parts on the outside. And as you go down into, into it, you get, uh, you get down to the nice rare parts. Part I like. Perfect. Now, I think what we'll do here, uh, we know that you guys are busy and uh, you know it's on a working day. We're getting close to the weekend, so we're, we're sure that things are getting busy for you guys over there. We're going to turn around back to the other roaster and uh, we'll open up the floor to any questions that you might have. Uh, because again, we don't want to take too much of your time. So I see for now, um, you know, we, we've got Chef uh, joining us today. We're hoping a, a few more people trickle in. Um, but that being said, if you have any questions, we're, we're here to answer them uh, for you pertaining to your own specific club. Uh, the temperature. Um... We, we usually run about 300 degrees. There's a temperature gauge on the back there to help you understand it. Uh, so it is cooking outside, so the temperature will dip sometimes if there's a breeze, but the burners are, are good and powerful. They will, uh, they will get back up very quickly to the temperatures. Yeah, that being said, um, typically if you, if you run it between you know 350 to 400, uh, you're typically going to cook about 20 pounds of meat per hour uh, running at that temperature. Um, so a really nice thing, a nice kind of easy rule of thumb is say you're cooking a hundred pound pig. Uh, you're looking at roughly about five hours to cook it. Um, and an, another good little feature for you guys to know is that a uh, hundred pound pig in its wet weight, so uncooked, is going to yield about 50 pounds of cooked meat in the end after that five hour roast. Uh, and that's going to be in, in uh, basically half pound portions you can, you can serve back up to a hundred people with a hundred pound pig. Uh, or if you want to do it another way, if say you're doing a promotion or you're running an event where uh, you're just doing sliders or, or you know, pig on a bun, um, that way you can typically get away with serving about uh, third pound portions. And uh, with those, you can, you can get upwards to 150 people per a hundred pound pig. Just going back to the uh, temperature thing, we can control it. And um, there's the two uh, gas valves at the, at the end here, and you can turn them down to, to running them low. You get to the right temperature and you just want to hold it. And um, you can turn both burners down to low uh, and keep the pig rotating. And that will, uh, that will just keep the, uh, keep, keep everything on hold basically until um, so, so you need it. You can keep it that way for half an hour, three quarters of an hour, no problem at all. So, and the heaviest, the heaviest pig we cooked was 180 pounds. Although I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't suggest you try that. It took me and my son an hour and a half to fight the thing to put it on the pole, um, and it took a long while to cook. So this is uh, ideal for uh, up to the 150 pounds, 160 pounds. Yeah, and um, that being said, in the case you guys would like to move forward, and, and we hope that we are able to do business with you. Uh, we do manufacture these to order, and we do that um, so that we're able to focus on each individual unit and maximize the craftsmanship and, and attention to detail on each one. Um, so that being said, right now we've, uh, you know, thankfully had uh, some good success at the Club Business Expo, um, but we're looking at about two to three weeks to have new units built. And then depending on where you are located, uh, typically it takes about five to seven business days to ship. 
So right now we're looking at roughly three to four weeks after the uh, conf confirmation of order date uh, that you could expect to, to receive your unit. Um, that being said, uh, we do ship them all over the world. Uh, I think Alan mentioned it earlier, um, but yeah, we, we have plenty of units down in the States. Uh, we also have some in, in Europe, the Philippines, Australia, South America, um, you name it. Uh, it's a very versatile unit and it's, it's one that you can actually use year round as well. Oh. So for instance, we're located up here in Canada. It's pretty cold outside. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the whistling back there, but it's a cold winter day for us. Um, but you can actually use this outside year round uh, and, you know, we even have guys up in Alaska that uh, will we'll use it then as well. The, the big thing is that when you are using it in, in cold weather, what you would want to do is one, just make sure that you're running it on uh, the high heat, the high temperature. And now the wind and stuff might fluctuate that a little bit. You'll probably run closer to 300, 350. Uh, but another main thing you want to do is make sure that your propane tank is raised off the ground uh, because it will start to ice up. And, and you'll see that with, with any barbecue or any propane tank that when you use it in cold weather. Um, that said, that brings me to another point. These units are propane typically, but we have the opportunity to uh, convert it to natural yeah. gas. So if you did want it to be a stationary unit, or if you have, if you run off uh, natural gas cylinders, um, that is a, an opportunity here. Um, but we really like the propane factor because it makes this uh, equipment very uh, versatile and mobile. So again, you can basically set it up wherever your members are, and cook and serve right in front of them. Uh, that's another point. One 20 pound propane cylinder should be enough to cook a hundred pound pig. Uh, that was our rule of thumb when we were building the roaster. Um, and that's what we've uh, managed to achieve. So it's uh, pretty economical as well. Well, again, um, you know, we, we appreciate your time. Uh, if you do have any questions, we'll, we'll wait another moment here. Uh, but yeah, we, we really do appreciate you stopping by. And for those of, uh, uh, those of you that are tuning in to watch this after this presentation, um, really appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Uh, we do always have the opportunity to set up a virtual demonstration, a private one, uh, whenever works best for you. So if you weren't able to make it today, we can do it at a later time. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for, for joining us. Uh, again, my name's Adam and I'm with Pig Out Roasters. I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you our, our propane roaster a little bit closer and some more specifications and details about it. So to start off, uh, I'm going to come around to this side here and we're going to look at how you actually run the thing. So if you want to come in close here, we tried to design it so it's just as easy to use as a household barbecue. So very similar situation. You have two control knobs and they will actually work independently for each of the burners. There's two burners located with, within inside of the unit itself. We will take a closer look at them in a moment here. But essentially, each, each burner has its own designated knob and its own designated igniter. And it's just as easy to use to control the temperature as a classic household barbecue. Turn it down all the way down for high, and you see it logoed on there, or all the way down for low. Really nice and easy to use, so it doesn't take a rocket scientist or anything like that to use one of these machines. Coming around here, we're going to take a look uh, at the inside of the unit. So I'm going to go ahead and take the door off here. The door will just hang right off the, the body itself. This makes it really easy to get in inside, uh, in and out of the roaster itself. Um, we, we really designed this because, of course, when you're putting your pig in or taking it out, or the rotisserie basket set that you saw earlier, it just makes life a lot easier rather than having to use a hinge and, and work that way. So we're going to take a, a peek inside the unit itself. As I mentioned, we have two burners located within it. These actually sit within a bevel of the body, so they're actually offset from the pig, so you're not gonna have any flare-ups. So when your pig or whatever it is that you're cooking, uh, any drippings that come off it, they're gonna land in the bottom of the body rather than land in the burners. So you don't have to worry about uh, flare-ups or, or putting on a fire show for, for your members. That being said, these burners, they, they kick out about uh, 57,000 BTUs, so they're very, very hot and they're very efficient. Another nice feature about them is that they sit roughly about four to six inches off the bottom of the, of the unit itself. You can see that that's above my knuckles there. A good feature about that is that it means that all the drippings that are going to collect at the bottom of the, uh, the, bottom of the body, they're not going to heat up, they're not going to cook, they're not going to burn. So cleaning this unit is incredibly easy. That being said, we designed it so it has a one inch ball valve down in the bottom here and the actual handle is on the bottom of the unit. 
uh, and the, the actual base of the body is on a slight decline as well, so everything will naturally flow towards that. Uh, and it is 304 grade stainless steel, food medical grade, so nothing's going to stick to this. And it's actually incredibly easy uh, to clean out. So really all you need is uh, some dish soap, uh, a hose or a pressure washer if you want, but a hose will do it, um, and about five to ten minutes of, of some good old uh, sweat equity. But yeah, that being said, very nice and easy. Just all you do is take a bucket, put it underneath that ball valve, open it up, it'll start naturally flowing out. Take your soap, take a hose, you get it looking good as new within 10 minutes. That being said, uh, we'll take a look down at the wheels here. We mentioned it in the video prior, but it does have 10-inch pneumatic tires, uh, and we do have wheel locks on the side that the propane tank would be attached to, and it has its own uh, protective arm around it just in case if anyone bumps into it. We know some people get crazy on the carts uh, out on the golf courses sometimes. Uh, and then on the other side over here, we have the wagon axle. This is gonna make it really easy to maneuver. You're probably looking at this and thinking it's a big, heavy, kind of cumbersome piece of equipment, but having this wag wagon axle makes it incredibly easy to move, or, uh, move around. Uh, and they are all-terrain tires as well, so whether it's going over grass, pavement, gravel, even sand, if, if it ends up in your bunker somehow, you can, you can handle basically all-terrain with this. Uh, so that being said, we're going to take a peek at some of the other accessories. Uh, we, I know we took a good look at the rotisserie basket set, but there's a few more that we think would be good to check out. Alright, so a little bit of mo uh, movie magic here, and your spit pole and, and uh, clamps appeared. Um, so that being said, this isn't so much an accessory, but it actually will come with your unit uh, in the case you just went with the propane roaster alone. So you've got a 60 inch spit pole, uh, it's all stainless steel, and it also comes with two triangle leg brackets, two four prong clamps, and two spine brackets. You can see it imaged up here. This is a smaller pig, so it didn't need the, the leg brackets. These are really only for the big guys. Um, but yeah, so these will come with your unit and it's everything that you need to do uh, large proteins to put them on the spit rotisserie. Instead of using uh, a single clamping pin, which you see with a lot of uh, rotisseries nowadays, we actually designed it so the clamps will basically hug onto the pole itself. And the way they actually clamp in is with these, uh, these screws that are activated by an Allen key. And this will come with, with your unit as well, of course. Um, the reason we went this method is because one, it holds uh, weight a little bit uh, better, but it also will limit the amount of impact on your pole, so longevity is a lot better that way as well. So now that we have uh, a look at what clamps and, and the pole that comes with it, we're going to show you a few of the extra accessories. So I'm just going to pop this over here and I will be All right. So, we try to make this unit as versatile as we possibly can. And you can see that by the sense that you can rotisserie, you can roast, you can smoke, you can steam, all sorts of good stuff with this. That being said, I mentioned it in the video prior, but it does uh, fit your, your universal size of a steam pan. So that being said, I'm gonna slide this in here just so you can look at it. Um, this unit will actually fit four of these at a time. So in the case you wanted to use this as a hot table uh, on, your, on your grounds, wherever your, your members are gonna be, you can use it that way and just simply roll this up, serve right in front of them and have a really professional wow experience for them. We also designed uh, some grill racks for it as well. And again, if you were running all grill racks through here, you could uh, use four of them at a time or you can use a combination of them with your steam pan set. Uh, now that being said, it's really best for indirect grilling rather than searing and you know doing steaks and things of that nature. And that's because it's lifted up above your burners, it's not directly there, so you're not going to get the same grill marks that you might see from a traditional barbecue. But what these are really good for doing uh, are sausages, chicken, um, if you're doing any type of seafood, it's incredible for that. Uh, cedar plank salmon on these are amazing and you can cook. Um, a whole a whole batch of cedar plank salmon and have them done within 15 minutes and then cut them up serve them right from the unit itself it's a very lovely thing um, we mentioned that we do we are able to smoke with this now again it's not designed uh, wholly to be a smoker but it's more to add that smoke flavor or the theatrics and the show of smoking foods to it so we designed this smoke box that will actually sit right on the burner itself now because the burner is offset the flame doesn't go right into the, into the unit, so you don't have to worry about that catching fire or anything like that. It just heats and smokes from the box. Uh, now, usually what we'll do is we'll use that smoke box for the first maybe hour of the cook 
to add some of that smoke flavor to the meat. Or you could use it for the last hour of the cook if you really want to draw people in and have a show factor for it. Because everyone, they see smoke coming out of a roaster and they smell that great food cooking and uh, they, they, come, they come running. Yeah, so we all know that's always a good show. Now that being said, I did mention that you can fit four of these grill racks at a time. Another thing that we designed, and it works in conjunction with the grill rack, is our rib racks. So these rib racks will basically clip right in, right into your, your rib rack, or into your grill rack, sorry. And with that, you can finish off uh, eight racks of ribs at a time. So if you're running four grill racks and four, and four rib racks, you're looking at cooking 32 racks of ribs at a time. And again, uh, you, you finish it off on here, or you can do the whole cook uh, and serve them directly right to the plates of your members. And that's one thing that they're surely gonna love. So that being said, those are a lot of the uh, main accessories. We do have a few others. Uh, mainly we have a insulated uh, pig carry bag or protein carry bag, and that can fit your entire pig within it or, or goat or lamb. Uh, or for our southern guys, gators as well. Uh, we also have a handled meat tray, which makes moving things around your property a lot easier. And it's actually designed to fit right in that bag as well. Uh, so then you can actually you know, have a, a little bit of a sturdier platform to put your large, larger proteins in. It makes it cleaning a little bit easier. And uh, another, another big accessory that we created is a um, tabletop carving stand. And it uses the same clamping mechanism as you see on your roaster here. But the whole idea behind that is sometimes maybe you want to actually serve your guests inside uh, within your venue. So what you can do is you set that up, set your handled meat tray up underneath of it, and then you actually bring your pig in or whatever, whatever roast you, you cooked or proteins that you're cooking and you carve right inside for them. That being said, those are some of our, our main uh, accessories and features about the propane roaster. Again, I really appreciate your time today. Uh, I hope that you, uh, you had fun and, and learned a bit about our unit. And uh, we look forward to uh, doing business with you in the future and, and hopefully hearing from you soon. Bye for now.